Hey, it's David here from Coding is for Losers. Um, one of my secret weapons that I haven't really, well, I guess you could call it a secret, <laughs> as secret as a weapon gets in, in Google Sheets um, that I haven't shared with anyone yet uh, is a number of, of formulas and functions that I've kind of aggregated over the years working in Sheets um, that you see in this in this kind of cheat sheet here. And these are these are formulas that I pull off the shelf from time to time. Things like if I need to import a sitemap or get like the meta description title from a URL or just like do any of this kind of like parsing that you have to do uh, with URLs or like text data in Google Sheets. Um, so like I said, I keep them in this Trello vault that I've shared with a bunch of people. Um, if you want to grab that, access to that and the cheat sheet that I'm talking about here, um, there's a link uh, below the video. But let me just walk through them quickly. So there are, a lot of them are based on a few key functions. Uh, import XML, we see here. Um, regex extract, um, index and split, concatenate. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? We've got, and we've got regex replace here. Um, but let's go through these one by one and talk about what they do. So the first one is uses import XML um, to import a sitemap. So let's let's just transpose this. You'll see how this works. Basically, what this will do is pull in the sitemap for coding is for losers, and each of these is a page. So you drop your sitemap URL in the first parameter here, and boom, you're done. Um, so let's remove that. The second import XML formula is similar to sitemap, um, except you're just pulling a different um, piece from the URL. You're just pulling the the title text. So this is the the title text for the homepage of Coding is for Losers, um, and you can do the same thing for the description. So if you look here, we're pulling the the meta description um, from the head, and we're just specifying the path um, of the XML of the page that we want to pull. So that will pull the meta description of Codings for Losers, X library of spreadsheet dashboard and automation templates, yada, yada. Um, so what if we already have the URLs, like we pulled our sitemaps down up here, our sitemap, and we have all these pages from Codings for Losers. But what if we wanted to um, kind of like normalize the URLs? Um, say you're working with like Google Analytics data or Search Console data or something like that. Often like the URLs you have won't be in exactly the same format as what you want to use. So in that case, you can use regex, regex extract um, combined with a few other formulas um, that, that we'll talk about down here. But in this case, we're just... Um, pulling everything after the HTTP um, and www, uh, but and, and until the, the next the forward slash. You don't need to worry about what this regex really means. Just uh, just go ahead and use it. Um, so that'll pull out the root domain here. Coding is for losers. If we wanted to also, if we needed to also pull the protocol, so the HTTP or HTTPS, um, this is. A slightly different formula, a little bit, uh, not not really more evolved, but more complicated. Um, so what this is basically doing is pulling everything before um, the double forward slash and then after until the second slash. So don't need to worry about what's going on there. It's just something handy to use. Let's see, the sixth formula here. Um, so this will come up a lot with Google Analytics data. Say you have a URL, like we have like codingisreligious.com slash block spring versus supermetrix. But Google Analytics data is returned with just the page path um, versus the full URL. So if you're trying to map kind of full URLs to just page paths, you can use this regex, regex extract, um, this regex here to pull out. And I'm not sure that we actually need the concatenate here. Let's see if we can remove that. Cool. Yeah, that works too. Let's just leave it as that. Okay. So what if um, 
what if we wanted to take, we had a paragraph of text, right? So I love coding is for losers.com. And we wanted to just pluck out the URL. Say you're want, say you're like scanning a, a web page to see like what, if a, if a given site is mentioned or what, you know, what sites are mentioned. Um, this will let you do that. So you could similarly modify, let's see, um, zapier.com. So you could modify this. This is taking the index, meaning the like first result from this. But you, if you modified this to be the second result, um, hmm. I'll have to go back and check that formula. For now, let's just say this will pull the first result from a paragraph of text, <laughs> just like I described it here. Um, cool, so what if you wanted to take the email address? Um, similarly, you'd wanna use regex extract. We don't really need to, let's remove the if error there. Um, so what this will do, have an extra. This will take a paragraph of text, reach out to help at codingsforlosers.com for help, which is our, our help address. Um, and it'll pluck out just the email here. So it'll pluck out the help at Coding is for Losers. Like I said, you don't need to read too deeply into the regex here, but know that that's the code to get that done. So what if we had a paragraph of text, so you had like a social post and you wanted to pull out just the hashtags from it. Um, similarly, you can use regex re replace and this regex formula here, which will basically pull out, take anything that matches this regex, which is saying anything that doesn't start with a hashtag and it's replacing it with a blank quote. So, so nothing. Um, so it, it's taking, Hey, there from and the space and, and deleting it essentially. So that's really helpful. If you're, if you have a bunch of social posts, um, say in like a, a tab in Google sheets and you want to pluck out like what, what hashtag was used in it um, and maybe correlate to that to some results for the post. I, I find this one to be super helpful for social analytics. Um, similarly, another fun one that's, that's kind of derivative from that is if you want to do the opposite and instead of plucking out hashtags, remove all punctuation. So say you have a paragraph that has like caps and, you know, an at handle and a question mark and some a comma here and you want to strip it down um you can use this regex which strips out only alphanumeric characters so and the reason that's really useful um for me at least is that in analyzing social data a lot of the times you want to do like pluck out the most commonly used words um or something like that and it's impossible to do that if you have hashtags and punctuation and upper and lower cases all blended in. Um, so if you're trying to look at like, okay, in this, in this audience, like what words are they commonly talking about? Um, this, this is one way to do that. So these are 10 formulas that, like I said, I keep, you know, keep, oh, it's suspended. That's funny. Uh, keep on my Trello vault of, of content here. And I pluck them out when I need to use them in action, building a spreadsheet template, but primarily um, I use these for working with URLs and just you know pulling off the shelf anytime I'm building a spreadsheet template. So feel free to grab this uh, cheat sheet and just take advantage of them yourself. Take care.